Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the voiceover of a lifetime. Silent Mike here with a little bit of training footage, a little bit of recap, a little bit of knowledge mixed with a little bit of spice and everything nice. Thanks so much for being here with me as we speak on this Monday evening, seven days away. From the latest Third Street Barbell Good Company drop, so follow 3sb.co for all your needs, elevating the athletic apparel game, and also you can follow me, Silent Mike, on Instagram or Third Street Barbell on Instagram if you want to see some of the teasers of the stuff we're coming out. But here we are, baby. I think it's a heavy squat day. we got a couple days of footage right now, a lot of questions about my programming, my full body splits. Let me just keep up with y'all and let me tune you in to how I'm training lately. So I got three main powerlifting barbell days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I sneak them in in between my uh, Twitch streams and my shift at the gym. So uh, what I like to do is squat three times. I'm currently benching three times and I'm pulling twice. Um, today I try to go a little bit heavier on squats. I believe this is a Friday workout. Um, but basically I have a medium Monday squat, a lightish Wednesday squat and a heavyish Sunday squat. Uh, I will throw in variations, but as of right now, they're all kind of the comp lift. I'll sneak in a high bar depending on how my body feels, but soon I'm waiting on the transformer bar by Kabuki. It's in the mail and that's going to take over one of the days uh, for a block. Bench wise, we got a heavy bench day Wednesday, uh, a close grip rep day Friday, and a medium rep day comp grip on Monday. Uh, deadlifts, we're throwing in different blocks. I just finished kind of a conventional block on Monday, heavy, which I think you guys will see some footage here. And lightish snatch grip on Friday. And I say lightish because overall it's about the stimulus, right? And so I'm going beltless, I'm going snatch grip, which automatically limits the amount of weight I can handle um, compared to if I threw on a belt and I uh, did in my regular grip, right? The range of motion is longer, much more difficult with the snatch grip. And obviously the belt helps me out a little bit. Yeah, I remember this day. So we go uh, 505, I think, for a single or triple. This weight moves really, really well. Uh, this is 485, I believe, on the squat. Uh, some days you have it, some days you're grooving and moving, some days you aren't. Sometimes you got a little pep in your step, some days you aren't. The longer you've been doing this thing, um, the less days do you feel like Superman. And so uh, I haven't had a Superman day in a little while, but today, you know, I feel like a baby Superman with just a tiny piece of. I got a kryptonite splinter. I don't have a rock on kryptonite uh, on me. So I'm feeling good. Um, the second one, uh, as you see here, even though it looks really solid, I lost a lot of tightness in the hole. And so something I'm going to do forward here is I'm going to really work on uh, controlling my pace on the way down. I have a lot of leg strength, um, but for some reason I don't have confidence in my leg strength. And so what I tend to do is rely on how explosive I am. Um, I rely on my speed. I rely on getting in and out of the hole. What? Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is slow myself down, really feel the hole, uh, excuse me, uh, and then drive up as hard as I can. And so that's going to be one of my main focuses on all three days, whether it be reps or not. Um, again, on this day was the little bit of bench press. I'm just doing sets of 7, 8, 9, 10 on the close grip, trying to build some muscles uh, and the snatch grip, which I actually ended up going really heavy because I started to warm up. If you guys look closely here at my shorty shorts, you got a teaser of what's coming in the next 3SB block. But I work up to a heavy weight here. Uh, again, I, I work everything in cycles. So uh, back to the programming. Apologies for my ADHD rants. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday then, I'm just doing back in arms. Uh, I like to get a little pump. I move around with the boys. I turn on some music. I want to get some blood flowing. I hop on the assault bike. Um, I do a little bit of back, a little bit of tricep, a little bit of bicep, call it a day, call it a week. The weekends I'm taking from my mental work and all my laptop work or computer work and trying to ignore kind of uh, the gym itself. Now, on the programming itself, what I'm trying to do is, again, have two variations on the exercises I'm doing three times a week, one variation on the exercise I'm doing twice a week, the deadlift. But even on the main movement, uh, in particular, the deadlift, uh, I'm going into blocks of four to six weeks and those variations switch every four to six weeks. This is very loose programming. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to progress and I'm trying to not get my head caught up in the numbers right now. So is it completely optimal for my strength gains? Maybe not. Is it completely optimal for my muscle gains? Maybe not. But what's most optimal is that I'm getting good work in, not great work, but good work in for the long term. I'm enjoying myself and I'm trying to find the flow and build back some work capacity.
So this is actually today's workout. Uh, and again, like I said, I did a four to six week block on the conventional and I was doing some pause and I was doing some snatch grip. And so here uh, I decided to work up a little bit in the sumo. And today uh, as the first sumo back in a while, the groove actually felt really, really good. And I was feeling a real real snappy as you guys can see the bar speeds moving really good and my positioning's overall really solid a little pain in my quad and my knee to be honest just from the positioning because i'm not used to it but we're going to build on this so i work up to um, a heavy set of 605 for two and then a drop set of 545 for five which actually went really really smooth as well the overall goal that I need to work on here is patience and I think that's something I've seen I've been doing uh, technique critiques on TikTok. if you guys want to follow me there by all means I'll try to help you out and we'll do a little duet together and we're not doing the renegade I'm going to help you lift and so the longer the video the better so I can coach you through it but the biggest thing I see in most people's deadlift is just patience you get a little bit of tension and you all of a sudden try to throttle it um, I do a pretty good job on this set actually of taking my time on that setup Get a little bit of tension, get a little bit more tension, get a little bit more tension, and then you can hit the gas and try to try to give it all you got. Um, with squats and bench, it tends to be easier because the weight's on you. You're kind of forced into tension. and deadlift, you have to create it with your body in the ground. Here you can see I rush a little bit, and although that moves uh, decently, these are the back down sets, uh, it doesn't move as fast as I want you. I actually didn't even record. I messed up. I didn't even record the 605 for two. Uh, I wish I did uh, so you could see how I rushed it a little bit. After this, I just hit some light squats. Again, I'm doing sets, uh, you know, on, on the lighter days, seven to ten. On the medium days, you know, for five to seven. And then the heavy days, a single, feeling the, feeling the groove of a single and some back down sets. I hope you enjoy the video. I appreciate you guys so much. New video Monday, Wednesday. Stay up and we'll talk soon.